Hi everyone, this is Christina. Welcome to my channel. Today I have this cute little mini tutorial for you with some tips and tricks. Perhaps you know what I'm talking about or maybe you learned some new tricks. In either case, I just want to share some things with you. So yeah, here we go. Let's start with some wall and flooring. When you want to fix your floors and walls, you open your little build tab and find the surface finishes. As you can see here, and then you go and you can see we have paint, different colors, and we have all kinds of colors here. Let's go in and pick this little one here. I'm choosing this nice little teal color, slather it on the wall. You can choose to set a paint border, and the paint will go outside this, and yeah, it's nice and handy. Here you go. Or you can freehand paint and make your roll the bigger. This is straight so you will get further down the line. So now you have some nice blue squares. If you go in and you alter the style of the paint, you can see you can change the color, but you can also change the texture from stucco to Venetian plaster. Let's do that. And I'll show you what the difference in texture is. As you see, we just slather some on the wall here, next to the other one. And if you go up close now, you will see one has more like lines and the other one is more smooth. So you have really endless possibilities when it comes to paint. And then if you open the tab again, you can go into panels. You can see here we have different types of floor, all kind of wood, different wood boards, you know, and this will help you choose the type of wood you get want with the type of grain. Let's go for this European wood. But what you do when you put it on the floor now, see it's all, you know, smooth and things like that. Then you go to the change style and you go over to the cut pattern and you can choose the pattern of the wood. By doing that you will be able to change pretty much anything. So let's start with this cute little fishbone pattern. Is that what it's called? I'm not sure. In either case, when you put it on the floor now, suddenly you see you have this cute little pattern. But then <clears throat> you can go in to the menu again and you can change quite a few things around. You can change the pattern size. And suddenly now you have a bigger pattern. So side by side comparison, you can see now. You can even go and make it even bigger. Let's slap some on the floor and you will see here. Look how big it is now. So you can really change it how you want the room to feel and be. But you can also change the rotation. As you can see here now. You just plop the bar and suddenly you have it on the I don't know, angled side. <laughs> Let me pop some down. This is conversation, and here you go. See, pretty. So when it comes to floor now, you really have so many possibilities. So, but you can also go to the custom, you know, wood color thing here, and this you can change the color with too, which is very nice if you want to fix your house. This is one of my favorite looks for the houses because you just go in, change the color change the size of the planks and then you just plop it up on the wall and voila you got planks get the little planks on the wall or you, if you prefer them standing you just change the rotation and plop them up and now you have standing planks on the wall you know depending what type of look you're going for so just go around and play with the different types of materials and textures because now let's get some cool wallpaper. I like this pattern, but I'm not too crazy about the colors. Again, we're going to change style. Here we can also change the rotation, the size of the pattern. And you have quite a few color choices. Just pay attention on the side and you will see what color you're switching out. I want white on the bottom, as we say here in Norway. And I want a little bit of green. And let's get some pink. Lastly, we will we'll get some blue. Suddenly we have this quite original wallpaper and let's just slap it up on the wall. And you can see now how we make our own little pattern and yeah, it looks so lovely. Here we go. So again, just play around with the different colors and textures and everything and you might get some quite crazy results. And here we have like more other things like brick and things like that. Nice for outside. Now that our living room is so beautiful, let's 
focus on the kitchen. What I like to do in the kitchen is start with the fridge first, but just looking at the cabinets real quick to figure out what style I'm going for. Yeah. So what I normally do, I just type fridge in the top there because I think it's hard sometimes to find out where everything is and then it's just easier to just write fridge. And here we have all the fridges and want this tiny little one, not too tall. I'm just gonna plop that down there. There we go. And well, I'm just looking at the different small fridges here and picking out what was it called the other one. I want the Bay Bavel style or whatever you want to spell it. Just type that on the top there. So then I get the whole style and simply lined up for me. I have to go and look through all kinds of things. Okay, let's plop in a little dishwasher. We should kind of look a bit more like a dishwasher. And we need an oven. And just try different cabinets. And then we need a sink. They normally come in three sizes, like a big, medium, and a small. I like the medium one. And let's pop down another cabinet. But as you can see, we're missing a tiny little bit. So in house number one, it was a nightmare getting the kitchen to fit into the room. But here you see, it's like I have more like a standard size. So you just need to change a cupboard, maybe two. Okay, let's pop up some wall, wall cabinet. Here we go. Making it so nice and pretty. So again, you just get whatever style you like and pop it up there. And like last time you see, I have a little gap. And unlike in super one where that was a disaster, we just move one little one and then you get the big one and voila, you can see it fits perfectly. So now I have a kitchen, but I'm not too crazy about the color. So what I do, I use my house flipper tool and I go to change style and I press on the sink because that normally has quite a few different prompts. But right now I feel it's hard to see the details properly, so I'll just move in a bit closer and change the angle. There we go. Now I feel I have a better view of the sink and the handles and everything. So now you can see you can alter it around like this. It's just different handles and tools and everything. Here we go. Now we'll change the base. I like this glossy plastic one. Or you can see this is the area down on the bottom we're fixing right now so yeah let's see now you can press on the press on them here you go and you choose the color or you can go the other way around and just press like that and choose the color afterwards I want the kitchen to be a lovely drab green color you know and then on the top you suddenly have the, the top of the called Benke Plot with Norwegian, but you know the countertop. Here we go. I want that in a nice maple marble. And let's just continue to alter all the little spots on our little sink here. Here we go. I want the sand blasted metal. And let's see, there it is. And um, you can see in these handles, they have two different little area sometimes I have one sometimes I have two we'll just alter that do the same with the sink and the faucet sometimes you can make them fancy by having two types of metal on it so let's just do that here we go look at that fancy little sink so what I'll do now is I'll use the little droplet tool called copy style and I'll just paste all the other two things here in the kitchen and suddenly poof have the whole kitchen in one color so instead of going back and forth and alter all the things now suddenly everything is matching so that's quite a handy way to use that tool sometimes like the stove here has like other extra tabs we don't have any other things and you can just alter them afterwards but then again who's gonna look for colors inside the stove I uh, know I'm don't okay now let's try and clutter the kitchen a little bit it's always nice to have some stuff here and we also need one of those little things over the stove, a little vent. So you see you have some vents, but first let's plop this little stove top on. Get that under home appliances and small devices. Here we go. And which one we don't want one match in the fridge. Here we go, like this. Yep. Let's plop it up there and then we do 
some small devices. We want the, the toaster. Toasters are important. And then we want a little coffee machine. I'll just pop that over here. And let's see. Oh, we want a little kettle so we can boil some tea. Because not everybody's a coffee person. Yeah, and uh, I think we have it. Let's get some accessories. Find them on the kitchen accessories. And we don't have too much to choose from, but let's put a little pot on the stove. And let's see now. A uh, little bread bin. Keep our bread fresh next to the toaster. And a little cutting board. And just to make it extra fancy, we go under the typical groceries and we'll pick it something there. Let's see. Somebody just made themselves a little sandwich. Yeah, let's make a little sandwich. Just plop it on there, make it look a little live then then we can just copy the sink and when I'm poof poof and we get the same colors as the rest of the kitchen but you see the little coffee maker has some extra little slots so we'll just go to alter and we'll just use the color we want like that and let's do the same with a little vent on the top there see now everything's matching so pretty Okay, now we're in the bathroom and I'll show you how to fix a couple of things here. First, don't get a get a bathtub. We want the one with the raw edge because we wanted to match our bathroom so nicely. Here we go. Just pop it in the hole there. And sometimes it's going to be hard finding the tiles matching. You don't remember we got them or their ties from before. So you just use a little droplet on your tool. Choose to serve if you like. And then press buy. And you get this cute little package with tiles that perfectly match the aesthetics you were going for. So simple, so easy. Here we go. Sometimes I think it can be hard because of the way they sort of things to find like a sink for some reason. As you see, I have these sinks here, but I don't want a floating sink because truth be told, I don't know how high or low a sink goes. So I'll just go up there and I'll type in sink. And suddenly I get these other sinks that are like standing on the floor. Makes it easier to find, and then we we'll want this cute little, little, what we're gonna call it like old fashioned style that matches our aesthetics. And let's just pop down a little toilet, there we go. And then we want a little accessory, so we we'll go to the accessory tab in Bathroom Perfects, and we will find the toilet paper roll holder, but it's empty. And then we just buy some toilet paper and we'll just pop it right on there. You can actually change the color of the toilet paper if that's something you wanna. Let's get a little hook and put by the sink. And we'll find a little towel and just type it up there. Here we go. This type is a bit fiddly because it was, for some reason it's so hard to find a sweet spot. There we go. And let's find a little towel bar to put over the bathtub. But fortunately, the towel selection is quite slim, so you won't be covering up a lot. Okay, welcome to the bedroom. So I love this pattern and I want to continue to have it. So what I'll do is I use this little copy style, pop it over there. And you can see I now enter a little tab where I can find this lovely little paper and I will just change the color a little bit, make it my own. And now I can make this beautiful pattern in a different color in this lovely, lovely tiny bedroom. So it's a wise way to use the tool. Sometimes you just want to, you know, Use what you have, but in a slightly different way. So yeah, now we have this beautiful, beautiful ball. <clears throat> That's a good liar, but here we go. And just look at the beds. And I think we we'll go for this Camden bed. It's quite basic and simple. And let's just pop that down. We'll see here now. And uh, let's talk about textures on bed sheets and things. Because if you move close now, you can see you have a nice texture on the pillow and the duvet. But if we're going to change style, suddenly you have all these little tabs that you can see here. We can check, change the handle of the drawer, you can change different colors and everything. But right now, we're going to talk about textures. So if we go into the one called pillows, you can see we can change the texture and you will see it drastically changes the texture of the pillow, sometimes even the color. So make sure you pick the texture just right where you look. And if we go into the duvet, you can see here again, different texture gives quite a different look. So you have suede and burlap and 
let's just go with the burlap right now and you see you can change the colors but if we go into the pattern slot it can be a bit fiddly so you find a pattern you like let's see and it's nice you have a little preview on the bed just find the pattern you like let's see here now I'm going for this one and then I want to change the colors but instead of going up on the wheels on the top you just have to scroll down so that can be a bit fiddly to remember at first and there we go but then you can also look at the other patterns in this color combination you picked so yeah we ended up with this cute little psychedelic pattern in these colors so there's many ways to do it you can choose the colors or you can choose the pattern and then you choose the texture and as you can see again it really changes how the bed looks like there we go and of course we want everything to match to be pretty so we will open our little shopping slot and we can see the bed is called Camden so we'll just type in Camden on the top and we will get everything Camden styled so we can easily find the nightstand and just plop it down or we can find the little cabinet and just shove it up there and so it's quite simple if you like want to know like the specifics you can press the little exclamation point let's see how big it is but without, for me that's not always so useful but anyway we press the home front logo and suddenly we get all this home front style items so that's nice and handy if you want to go for that look so there we go it's so pretty or if the home front style is not quite your cup of tea you just find something that is like this little future bed whatever you want to call it the future tab and suddenly you have all these fancy items and matches that bed so quite easy to get the style you want this game has quite a few different pictures and frames you have like posters you could just plop up on the wall postcards and all kinds of things or you can just go for the empty frames if you prefer getting your own look you can see how many different types of frames I'll show it to you. You have like a basic wood frame and you have like with gold and you even have one that's rounded. It's kind of nice and you can see you have like a thin wood frame a little thicker and one with pattern so you have quite a few different ones you even have like if you want to just like a like a cool memory ball and put up a bunch of polaroid pictures you can do so or this one here like has a big fat frame on it so yeah so many cute frames so many to choose from you can choose like different textures and colors and all kinds of things on them so again so many possibilities when you find a frame you like you just go and click on it and you go into the little change style tab and here you can change like if you want a black frame or white or gold or silver and then you have something called the mat and as you can see you can choose the mat size that's the little thing on the inside that makes like a little frame inside the frame so let's go for a dark frame with a dark mat then we go into the custom picture and you can see they have quite a few different pictures here and they will also change the color the color i mean the size of the picture so you can see you had quite a few different possibilities so yeah it can be a bit overwhelming and confusing at first but you see here we have this nice nice little leaf photo but you know sometimes you just want to do your own thing so then you go on custom picture and use the user tab and you press that little folder there and it will open a folder in windows so we can just pop in your own photos these are my photos that I took when I've been out hiking in Norway. And let's just get this nice little cherry blossom. It's pretty, but it's not quite the right size. So what I will do, I'll go in custom picture. And again, I will choose my letter cherry blossom. And this time I will drag the slider and I'll make it much bigger, you see there. Or I can go the other way. Go again, choose the custom picture. And I can make it tiny there we go so same picture different sizes and you can use whatever pictures you want so you can take your cat your loved one or just some you know random things you find just keep copyright things in mind so there we go 
So sometimes you just want a little bit of knickknack around the house. Let's get this cute little vase. Now let's find something to put in this little vase. So what I'll do is just open my little store tab. I'll just type rose. Let's be classic about it. And you see this little roll standing in like a little vase prompt. Just pop it in like that. But now I want my rose on the wall shelf. So what we do is we open the little tab and we will find the little shelf unit box area. There we go, storage. And I like this little hexagon shape or whatever it's called. And let's get our rose and just put it up on the wall. But oh no, I'm too short. So what do we do? Well, we just take the shelf, move it down, put the rose where we want it, like this. And while we have it down here, let's just find a little piece of decoration to put inside. Oh, I love that little guinea pig. So whatever, Mars, whatever it is, and just plop it in there. There we go, so pretty. And now we just lift the whole unit and put it where we want it, like this. That's nice. Everything stays in place. And since we're on the subject of flower, let's go outside and I'll show you a couple of things here. So yeah, let's go outside and I'll show you. So here we go. Okay, I want a little fence. So let's go into the fence tab. And ironically, it's not where you see the little fence. Uh, here we'll find things like signs, gazebos and other things like that. Earning tools. Leisure and play. Lovely little lamps to have outside, but no fence, even though it's a fence tab. Mm, I find that a bit offensive. <laughs> what you do is you go into the architectural, and then you'll find a new tab with actual fences in it. And you can see you have different fences. And you just find the one you like, and you just choose a start point and an end point like this. So very simple to make fences now. Here we go. Now we have this cute little yard area and we'll just pop in some plants there and you can see you have different types of plants now you have ornamental plants or shrubs and trees and sometimes they are a little small or a little big or too much so we just have to figure out what you like so quite simple one of my favorite new features is also the plant and pot things and what you will do is you will go into this called pots and you will find so many different types of styles of pot. You will find the ones you can hang from the ceiling. Like here you have hanging ones. Hang it up in the ceiling. Here we go. Or you can find one and hang it up on the wall like this. Very simple. And you even have these cute little ones you will put by your windows. If you can just find your windows. I have a hard time finding my windows. There we go. And there we go. Pop them outside the window. And like with all things, you can just easily change it around. There we go. And now we just want to have a little nice little plant stand. Like this little ladder. The ladder doesn't want to stand outside, I guess because the fence is not a wall. Okay, let's go and find a wall. Here we go. Let's put that there. They're all empty, so we gotta shove in some plants. So we're gonna find the ornamental plant slot. So let's see what we find here. We have some roses and petunias and this is on some rose bushes here like roses everybody loves roses not everybody though but we have some orchids i don't know how much like being outdoors but that's what's going in our little garden box here we go yeah this is not about looks this is about learning and we'll find this petunia again you can see we have a hard time getting it in there and then we're going up here we keep prompting the fence instead of the petunias which is one of those little annoying things so what do we do then get upset and we get angry and we scream yell a little and then we try to pick it up and realize we're just prompting the fence so we go down and we go inside the house put it on an empty wall and a little petunia then we lift it up and we plop it right where we want it there we go so pretty so sometimes things can be frustrating but you just gotta learn to be patient and have some tricks to find some tiny flowers and put in this little one indoors. No, this is too tall. So what we'll do is put it on the nice little one we put outside like this. So what you gotta do really is just play around, find a look that works for you and style you like and you can really make it your own. Let's just put some in this hole here. There we go. It's so pretty. What I like doing outside houses, I like 
putting these really big flower pots. Let's find one now and I'll show you. And I'm like altering the style of it. And I like changing it into metal. So shiny and pretty. There we have some chrome. So now so nice and bright. It looks so nice and luxurious. And let's find a big plant and shove it in. There we go. This rose doesn't want to go. I want it to go close to the house. So it can be a lot of fiddly sometimes, but I just have to play around to find the right angle and normally it just works out by itself. So yeah, there you have it. Beautiful front entry with so many pretty flowers. Sometimes you're in a situation where you like the door, but you don't want to like, should I sell it? No, we just go in and you change style. See here, you can change different types of handles. I want the one with the lock on it because it's the front door. There we go, nice lock. Then we just change the door frame. And we want the door to be a crazy color, so let's paint it purple. And a golden handle, there we go. And the keyhole, let's make that rose gold. So now it's the way I wanted it and didn't cost me anything, so that's a way to save money. You can cut this out to the windows, but you can see because the window has more of those little slots, it doesn't really work, so let's go inside and fix the windows. Here we go. Here you can see we just can press the change style choose if we want shutters or the windowsill or the mansion bars I don't know how to say that choose different door handles here you can see we choose different bases we want the ebony and we want some glossy paint and let's go for golden and let's see here now we want the windowsill and ebony and the mutation bars let's call them that in black then we just copy the style yeah. There we go. Oh, I was pressed the wrong button. There we go. A little droplet, and we'll just paste it into the other windows in the house. There we go. So easy. And we'll just plop it on the doors as well. Saves us a lot of time, saves a lot of money, makes it pretty and nice. So, yeah, nice to do. Okay, now we're inside this lovely, lovely house. And then we just want to, you know, clean it a little bit and fix it a little bit. And then, see, here we go now. And. Now we want to fix this cute little staircase, so let's find some lovely wallpaper and just plop it down on the floor. Let's see here, now we're just going to plop it up, then uh, we can't quite reach there and we don't have a ladder and the scaffolding is way too big, so what do we do? Well, it's quite simple. What you do is you go into your little construction tab and you find some stairs. And you just pop it on top of the stairs, you put some stairs. The irony, and you just drag them out like this. There you go. And then you grab your little wallpaper roll and or paint bucket or whatever. You see suddenly you can just reach into every nook and cranny. This is awful also useful to use when you have like tight corners outside the houses. And then when you're done, you just simply sell the stairs. So yeah, very handy. I'm Christine and if you like this video please like, share, subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.